Welcome to our new vlog series featuring the historic town of Franklin, Tennessee. We get calls from buyers relocating or moving to the Nashville area all the time, and most of you want to know where to get more information on subdivisions and neighborhoods within your price point. This vlog series will break the Franklin area up into smaller price points. That way we can explore each one in more detail. Now today we'll start at $500 to $550,000. We'll take a look at the top six subdivisions in the Franklin area, and that's based on volume of sales. If you're considering moving to Franklin, Tennessee, you will definitely want to hop on board. If this is your first time to the channel and you want a weekly update about Nashville, Tennessee living, I recommend you hit that subscribe button down below. Our goal is to be your weekly boots on the ground and provide you video every week. We want you to know everything about Nashville, Tennessee living. And we get calls every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Nashville and we would love to help you find that perfect fit. So if you're looking to move in 30 days or 90 days or more, pick up your phone, call, text, email today. We're gonna to get to work right away. Our team will be happy to help you make a smooth move to Nashville. So let's start out with just a quick look at all the available properties that have sold in the last year in the, in the $500 to $550,000 price range in Franklin. So we've got a lot of housing divisions here. Again, what we want to do is we're going to focus on the top six. That way, if you see a housing uh, subdivision that you like, you can search that and kind of keep an eye on that and there'll be enough turnover for you to have a house that will become active in that, in that subdivision. So those three that we're looking for is Falcon Creek, Riverside Park, Forest Crossing, Boyd Mill, Franklin Green, and then up above here you can barely see it, Fieldstone Farms. Now, I also wanted to mention there are other uh, outliers here that fit in those price ranges. As you can see, there's ones and twosies. Uh, there's places like Keegan's Glen here that has three. So I wanted to give you an idea of what some of those other subdivisions were in the price range, but this video will focus on those top six. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start out with Falcon Creek, which was built in 1994 through 1996. If you'll notice on these houses, uh, which is very common here in Nashville, you've got uh, the front of the house is brick, and then the other three sides are a plastic siding. And the siding is very durable, uh, it's very mold free, so it's a good product here for the Nashville area. You'll also notice that most of these houses are one story, but then they've got a bonus room above a two car garage. Uh, also, the, the driveways and sidewalks are what's called aggregate. So they, they put a, a surface over the top of concrete what I have found with those aggregates is that they need to be cleaned, uh, power washed, you know, every couple of years to keep them cleaned up. Um, also, you're gonna notice there's a cul-de-sac coming up here. It's very common in suburbs here in Nashville. As you know, a cul-de-sac will be anywhere from five to six houses. It's gonna be very quiet back in there. So if your kids wanna play in the front yard, it's gonna be uh, less uh, traffic. You'll also see a privacy fence here. You'll see a lot of those here in Nashville. So you have privacy on your back deck, backyard. Uh, kids can play in the yard, dogs can play in the yard, et cetera. So. Okay, so now we've got Riverview Park, which is on the west side of I-65. So we can take exit 96. Uh, you'll make an immediate left, you'll go south about a half a mile and you're going to run into this uh, housing addition. It is an older housing addition. Uh, they started building homes here in 1978 through 1988, so about a 10 year period. You're going to see a mix of predominantly three types of homes, either the split level home like you see here. You'll find a one story brick ranch and then you will see uh, colonial style which is very popular in that, in that time frame. Uh, the advantages of being here, uh, there is no HOA, so that can be good or bad. Uh, the good side is it lowers your monthly payment. Uh, the, if there's any negative to it, uh, you don't have anyone uh, making sure that uh, the neighborhood stays uh, in the 
position it should stay in, you know, as far as upkeep. Um, what you're seeing here too are uh, predominantly all four sides are brick. People are coming in flipping and turning these houses. So when they flip them, what they're traditionally doing is they're painting the bricks white and they're putting new shutters on the outside. They're taking out interior walls and, and making these a lot bigger. They're also adding on. So you're seeing a lot of that going on in this neighborhood. Okay, so our next subdivision here is Forest Crossing, and it's located just off I-65. Uh, if you go back west and go south, it's gonna be right beside the housing addition we just looked at. Now, these are a little newer. They were built from 1990, I mean, 1988 to 1994. And you'll see they have a brick front on them. Uh, they do have the siding on uh, three sides. Uh, most of these are two-story homes. Uh, they've got mature trees. These lots have been here a while, so there's some advantages there. Uh, the lot size is a little smaller than the other two uh, housing additions that we looked at, but they were older homes, so it's kind of a balance uh, of what you want there. Do you want more square footage or do you want more uh, privacy? Um, also, this uh, has a lot of amenities in this neighborhood. We've got green space. We've got a golf course, forest crossings. Uh, there's shopping, there's pickleball, there's tennis courts, there's a uh, clubhouse. So there's a lot of things this offers. Uh, it has a swimming pool. Uh, it is close to everything, shopping, your grocery stores, your retail, and your um, restaurants and things are all located in close proximity. So it's a really nice neighborhood. Now there are some homes here that go out of that price range of that 500 to 550, but you can get into forest crossings in this price range if you keep your eye on it. Okay, so I just wanted to take a quick look at this park. On the way to Boyd Mill and Franklin Green, which are our next two subdivisions, you are literally five minutes from this park in both subdivisions. Uh, on this side of the park, it's all open area. As you can see, there's a pond there. You see people playing catch, frisbee, playing with their dogs. On the opposite, opposite side of this, on the other side of the road, you see baseball fields, softball fields, and Little League football fields. So if you're someone that likes to uh, enjoy the open green space and the parks, wants to be close to all the youth action in baseball, softball, and football, this would be a good spot for you in Boyd Mill or Franklin Green. So let's take a look at those now. Okay, so this next subdivision is Boyd Mill and it's just past the park we just looked at. So you're right in the middle of soccer fields, football fields, softball, baseball fields, and a lot of green areas. Now, if you'll notice uh, that most of these houses are one story brick ranch. Uh, this housing division started in 1976 and was built for a period of about 20 years up to 1996. Um, these houses range anywhere from 425,000 up to 550,000. So they do fit our range. Uh, for this video, uh, but not all of these are in that price point, if that makes sense. So um, you're going to see a lot of remodels in this subdivision where they've come in and they've, they've completely gutted a house, uh, torn out walls, created more space, added extra additions. Uh, some of these houses here do not have garages. Some have one car garage, some have two cars. So there's a lot of variety there, but the, the location is Fantastic, it's right off Highway 96 going west out of town, so you have access to everything. Uh, the main thing is the green space you have here and the affordability of getting some square footage in the Franklin area. So our next neighborhood is Franklin Green. If you're looking for green space, this is it. So it's a 200 acre property with 500 homes, but 100 acres of the property is green space, parks, and hiking trails. So. Uh, as you'll see too, these homes are a little newer, 1999 to 2002. They are mostly two-story homes. They do have a brick front and siding on the sides and the back, which is very common again to this area. But you can find a really nice home here with a lot of green space by going with Franklin Green. It's a really beautiful property. So our next subdivision and last is Fieldstone Farms, which is north of Franklin on Hillsborough Road as you're going towards Nashville. This is the biggest housing addition we've looked at with over 2,000 homes in a lot of different styles and uh, there's townhomes, there's homes of all uh, price ranges. 
So it also has a public supermarket and a Walgreens basically built into the complex. This has a 37 acre park. It has sidewalks uh, through all the neighborhoods so you can walk for days. It's got amenities, uh, swimming pool, fitness center, tennis courts, pickleball courts. So it's got all the things that you'd want. As you can see, the architecture is, is very similar to what we've seen in other areas in this price range. We've got the brick front. We've got the siding on the other three sides. These uh, have got a lot of green space. Uh, so you've got a lot of amenities that you can take advantage of in Fieldstone Farms. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, please take a minute to subscribe and like it. You can help us reach more people with your help. We'll be doing a new video on Franklin Weekly for the next few months, so be sure and hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you're looking to move in 30 days or 90 days, pick up the phone, call, text, or email today. We're going to get to work right away. Thanks again for watching.